Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a review slash unboxing of my Petit Vore box. And let me just preface with this is going to be a little bit of a long video because I'm actually going to be reviewing the uh, May products from my Petit Vore box that I've been using as well as unboxing the June box which I just realized today I never unboxed and it was sitting like in a basket on my vanity and then the July box which I just received yesterday so I'm gonna jump right in since we have a lot to cover and so the first thing we're gonna talk about are all of the products that were in the May Petit Vore box um, all right so let's start with the lipstick because I'm actually wearing the lipstick today it's a cute lipstick in the shade snog there's the name and then this is the container and this is ooh, this is the shade I'm wearing it today it comes out a little bit darker in the tube than what it is on my lips as you can see but it's a very pretty color for like every day like going out it's been great for like a summer look um, if you're going for more of like relaxed um, so the only thing that I don't like about this I really really do like the color is that and it's not anything bad but it's already kind of cracked like along the bottom um, so I just have to be really careful when I apply it but it's a really pretty it looks like a dusty rosy peach like in the tube but then when it's on it really comes across a little bit more peachy um, like neutral so I really really liked this lipstick and just using it you know throughout the summer it's great like just to go to the supermarket and run errands and things like that um, the next item is the NYL organic shimmer scrub I've used this a couple of times I haven't um, done it on like my whole body just because of the shimmer thing but I've been using it on my hands on like the decolette it's really cute it really does leave a lot of shimmer and it smells really really good um, yeah it smells like very citrusy so I really really like that product the next two in here I'm not too meh about and the first one we have is the moon number 11 Anna Rose Rejuvenating Rose Toner. Um, I was a little bit disappointed with the actual sample as it's kind of like a little cardboard container and that's fine for being eco-friendly but um, it's just really a very small amount of sample product and I think I was able to get two uses out of this which two uses for skincare is really not enough to um, like convince, he, convince me plus it's really pricey and I'm not 100% sure what the price is but I'll go ahead and put it in the description box and the last product which I did not um, enjoy and I was really sad because I really wanted to enjoy it was the Zabana Essentials shimmery dry glow shampoo um, so it it lasts for a long time like I want to say I've used it about four times and my bottle is probably like right around here so a little bit more than halfway but I just don't feel like it, it does the job that a dry shampoo should do. So something I have going on in my house right now, we have no water pressure. So like when we turn on the faucet, it's like literally a trickle. And it's been like that since Monday afternoon. Today is now Wednesday and it's about 12.30 p.m. So I have not been able to wash my hair, like give it a good washing since the end of last week. Um, and so I tried this last night. I said, you know what, let me give it one more shot. I know I'm going to be reviewing the product tomorrow. Let me just try it again and see if maybe I have a different experience. So I took it and I separated, you know, down the middle. I did some lines across the sides. I went through the back and I went to town putting on the dry glow shampoo. Um, I'm not a big fan of the fact that it's shimmery, but the bigger problem is that it just didn't really do what a sh dry shampoo is supposed to do for me so i would not repurchase this i really wanted to like it because i'm always looking for a good dry shampoo but it just didn't work like i said i put it on I actually put my hair into two braids and went to bed and i thought in the morning i could just brush it out and i did but it's really still like really it's just not yeah it's just not didn't work for me so 
that is everything that I received in my May box that I've been using. So three out of four products, no, I'm sorry, not even three out of four products, two out of four products I was happy with. One I only used twice and I couldn't really tell you, um, but a toner is a toner and it's a rose toner. And there's a lot of really good, a little bit more affordable rose toners out there. And I liked the lipstick. So we're at like a 50% success rate with the May box. The next thing I'm gonna jump right into is the June box. And honestly, I forgot what is in here. I know I opened it when I got it, and then I put it away thinking, okay, I have to redo the I have to do the video to review the products, and then I just totally forgot. It. So as always, every box, Petit Vore, Be Bold to Be Kind, and the inside, Bright Eyed and Fresh Faced was the theme for the June box. And let's see what we have in here. Oh, okay, yeah, I remember some of this now. So we, the first thing we have in here, I'm just going to go from the first one on here, the Fior Minerals Organic Eyeliner. Let's see. This is the container. It says Fior Minerals Defined Lines, 100% natural, organic, vegan eyeliner, color and skin care in one. And this is in the shade Brown Sugar. So I... I no, I used it once and it was okay. It's a brown eyeliner. Let me just kind of like swatch that here for you guys. It's just a brown eyeliner. I don't know what the sugar part is really supposed to mean because it doesn't really look like brown sugar. It definitely looks like a brown eyeliner. Um, it was pretty creamy. It went right on. I could see it being creamy going on the lid. I remember not really having a problem with it when I tried it. Um, but I'm not a big fan of pencil liners ever. And if you've watched my videos, you know that. I'm a, I'm a fan of the liquid liners. But I think maybe as I get older, I should stick to more pencil liner. I tried doing a cat eye the other day and I just could not for the life of me, like get it to look good on the lid. So that's what it is. So I'll definitely um, use this. Uh, it was a creamy brown eyeliner um, and I will re review it uh, when I review the July products as well. So the next video will probably be a little long and then we'll be all caught up. The next thing in here is the 100% Pure Facial Cleansing Brush. I have not tried this. It came in a little plastic bag. Um, so I will definitely give that a shot and let you guys know what I think. I've never... Um, used a facial brush that did not have like the motor so this is cool you know kind of get in there i'll definitely um be trying that out. i have to go put it over by my sink and that will remind me to use it um the next thing in here oh and i've tried this and i really liked it is the jacques organic or jacks organic um green smoothie scrub and mask i don't know if you can get, see that i don't know why it doesn't there you go. And this is, smells kind of minty-ish. I don't know, just very natural. I like all of these masks. They're all um, are really nice. It's a, just like a dark clay mask. And let's see what it says on here. Works beautifully on any skin and hair type. Oh, I've never, I didn't know that this could be used on the hair. I have not used it on the hair. I've only used it on my face. Formulation is rich with sea kelp, clays, charcoal, cacao, tamanu oil, and a myriad of nourishing plant extracts and essential oils. To use, mix one and a half teaspoons of powder with warm water to form a creamy paste. Apply After applying to skin or hair, leave on for 15 minutes and rinse. So I did use this as a facial mask. Um, I really enjoyed it. It has a very refreshing scent. I wouldn't be surprised if there's like peppermint oil in here or something. Let's see, spearmint oil, anise oil, ginger oil. So you could definitely get that refreshing sensation out of it when I was using it. And when I took it off, it really felt like brand new skin. So I really, really enjoyed, I really, really enjoyed, I really, really enjoyed this face mask and I still have quite a bit. So a little goes a long way. And the last thing in here is the Meow Meow Tweet Face Cleanser. I have not tried this. 
And let's see what the description says. All products are made with organic raw plant oils and butters, steam distilled and cold pressed essential oils, and organic wild crafted botanicals. In this month's box, subscribers received either a Meow Meow Tweet face cleanser or spot serum. So I received the face cleanser. To use, apply seven to eight pumps to dry face, wet hands, and massage face to create a light milk. Rinse with warm water or a washcloth. So I am actually going to do this with this and make these a little tag team and see how it goes and I'll let you guys know and so that was the June box let me put that to the side and then I can put everything over on my vanity and use it and now we're gonna jump right into the July box petty bore you open it be bold to be kind and this month's theme is Cruelty Free Summer. And they partnered um, or they collaborated together and Thoughtfully Magazine actually curated or co-curated this box with them. Um, so I'm going to jump right in because I've tried two of the things in here. Um, and I'm going to show you the first one. So I had a nail appointment today and I got this tomorrow. I got this yesterday and I was like, perfect. I got a nail polish. I can um, use this for my nail appointment the next day. So I did. And this is the Isla Nail Lacquer, which is in the color Doolish, which is their latest edition. And it's a warm sunset coral. Um, it's cute because it says, this warm sunset coral shade pairs best with a cool drink in hand. Yeah, that's a great idea. Uh, so I have heard of this brand. I've never used anything from it. Physician developed, healthy, beautiful, by free, non-toxic, no dilemmas. So very pretty color. And that is the color right there. I actually changed my manicure up completely because they were squared off and a lot longer. And I went ahead and I did the rounded edges and went a little shorter so they can grow out like that. So I really, really like this color. It's really pretty. See if you can kind of see in comparison it comes off a little darker than the actual color in the bottle um, but i like it and it matches my maxi dress because it's corally so i like that and this retails for 17 dollars. sorry i didn't tell you what anything retailed in that other box but i'll put everything in the description box below the next thing in here is the mango butter from nubian heritage and so I only used this very little yesterday because um, I received the box. I took it out of the mailbox and I got in the car to take my daughter to one of her appointments. And my lips were like super dry. And I was like, you know what? Let me just use that mango butter that's in the box. And now I'm having a hard time opening it. But this smells so good. Oh my God. It's definitely like sweet, like mango, like it's mango-y, but it's super, super sweet. And it's infused with shea oil and vitamin C. Um, so I am definitely going to be trying this. Like just all over my body. Because it smells that good. Um, the next thing in here is the Routine. Let's see. Routine Deodor Cream Natural Deodorant. And it comes with this little card. And it has some info on the back. And then it comes in this little container I could probably get um, they say to use a pea size amount maybe like a week's worth if you use a pea size amount in under each arm um, I've never had good luck with like these natural deodorants because ever since I had kids I feel like I sweat a lot and I smell a lot and they just aren't strong enough and then I tried one um, that had a lot of baking soda in it and it totally burned my underarms so I will definitely give this a try let you know how it goes but um, nothing that I've tried in terms of a natural deodorant have worked for me so if you have any recommendations please um, you know put it in the comments below and I would love to try something and see if it, it works out for me so this is a $4 um, value and it doesn't really say what the, the price is, but I'll put all that in the description. I'm um, sorry, not what the price is, what the full size. And then it says four bucks, so I'm assuming this is four bucks. And then the last thing in here, which I'm excited to try, is the Luxe Du Mer Skin Care with No Secrets Gentle Face Cleanser. 
it just looks so apothecary-ish to me, right? Like in this little glass container. It smells really, really like just refreshing. Organic rose water, organic vegetable glycerin, and organic essential oils. And this is one full ounce. And this retails for 10 bucks, 975 for a cleanser. It looks like this would definitely last you a good amount of time. Um, and it says that some subscribers also received the rose water toner, which some of us received the rose water toner a few months ago. Um, let's see, pour a small amount onto cotton pad and wipe face clean, rinse with cool water. So I will definitely put that over by the vanity and give that a shot. Um, and that is everything that is in my July box. Let me know what you thought of the products for May and June. I will definitely be trying all of them out. I look forward to sharing my thoughts on those products with you. And as always, stay beautiful and cruelty-free. Have a great afternoon. Bye.